My name is Jamie Groth with Winona State University and the purpose of this video is to show you our online learning platform which is called Desire to Learn or D2L for short. Nurses can access our online courses through normal web browsers using either Mac or PC, it doesn't matter which. There's no fancy programs to download. Uh, this is an example of a course homepage for our CCRN prep course, but it'll really be the same idea if it's a, a progressive care course or an emergency nursing course. There's a navigation bar across the top that brings you to the home page, to the content outline, discussions, chats, etc. I've clicked into the content area of the CCRN course and you see an outline of all of the course materials. These units incidentally run pretty much straight down the AACN test plan. For example, we'll look at unit number four for hemodynamics. You've got five subsections here including a printable handout that's an overview or review uh, in PDF form a couple of multimedia presentations and a quiz. The presentations include the instructor's voice over the slides. They're very simple to navigate by moving down this bar on the right side. We can also see thumbnails of the slides or simply press play and just go continue straight through from beginning to end. This particular presentation has 30 slides. I'm going to press play and you'll hear the instructor's voice. Welcome to a presentation on hemodynamic monitoring. The purpose of this module is to review best practices in hemodynamic monitoring. There are four learning objectives for the hemodynamic monitoring topic. Objective one is to discuss physiological concepts of hemodynamic monitoring Two is to identify best practices and technical aspects of hemodynamic monitoring. And three, interpret hemodynamic waveforms and values. And four is to interpret hemodynamic data for selected case scenarios. Objective one is going to be met by completing the hemodynamic monograph by Headley, the Edwards Life Science uh, monograph. Objectives two and three will be met in this presentation, and objective four will be met in another PowerPoint presentation. There is a uh, Word document posted online that goes along with this um, PowerPoint, so you may want to have that as you uh, proceed. And another sample from one of the presentations in the CCRN prep course. Welcome. This presentation will review acute coronary syndromes, which includes unstable angina, non-STEMIs, and STEMIs. Cardiovascular is a major component of the CCRN and PCCN test plans. Some of the cardiovascular topics for acute coronary syndromes are listed here. I want to remind you to use the test plan to guide the areas for your study. Acute coronary syndromes are a significant health problem in the United States. An MI is the number one cause of death for people living in, in the U.S. and certainly acute coronary syndromes has a major impact on our health care system. I'm just pausing the presentation there. There's actually 36 or 63 slides and if I was a student and wanted to just find a particular slide to review or go to a particular part of the um, outline, I can do that here using the text or the thumbnails. Bounce right to the part I want and press play. These patients will be having cardiac catheterization. Either this will be a diagnostic angiogram or an interventional angiogram. If it's going to be an interventional angiogram, they will place a sheath in that femoral artery through which they will be able to... And I can also navigate just by using these. Here is a visual of a coronary artery narrowing as seen in the cardiac cath lab. You can see the arrows pointing at an area that has slight narrowing of that artery. And I've clicked on the discussions link in our taskbar just to show you the discussion board area. In this case it's a simple introduction um, by all the participants. Here's a hello from one of the instructors, Kathy Nosek. Notice that you're able to type in here and then um, 
people can reply and you can start a thread of discussion. They use this for introductions as well as discussing different um, uh, test questions, sample test questions, and scenarios. There are a lot of benefits to learning online. The content is available 24-7, so working nurses can access this uh, when they're ready to learn, when they have the time. It appeals to different learning styles because there is uh, audio and visual content as well as pieces that can be printed. You can learn at your own pace, but there still is uh, some guidance and some milestones built into the course to help people complete it by the end of the period. You can review as often as you like, uh, unlike in-person learning where once the moment is passed, it's in the past. Um, you can move around between the units, go back to different slides, and, and do it as often as you'd like. If you have any specific questions about any of these courses, please feel free to call me or email me. I've listed my contact information here. Uh, for enrollment in the courses, uh, that's listed below. Um, we are located in Minnesota, so we're on Central Standard Time. We'd be happy to speak with you about uh, enrolling personally or enrolling a group from your unit. And thank you for your interest in Winona State's Nursing Professional Development courses.